This is Safi Hocking for HackingSAP.com and Interdops. Well, in this video, I want to have a quick look at a new tool in the SAP Analytics Cloud suite. Um, it's called SAP Analytics Cloud for Office. And what I've seen from it, it, it looks very much like the SAP Analysis Office um, plugin for Excel and PowerPoint that we already know for a while. Uh, and which we can use to, to run HANA views and BAX queries. So apparently SAP decided to create a new tool in addition to that, uh, probably more specified for usage with the SAP Analytics Cloud. Currently this tool is in beta, so um, well, the features will be very limited at the moment. But let's have a look how um, this tool looks and what we can do with it. So I'm running my Mac here with Excel. And what I have done is I installed the SP Analytics Cloud beta add-in via the Microsoft Office um, extension store or add-on store. I'm not sure how it's called. And this is a huge advantage over what we currently have. So currently we have this installer that we need to run whenever there's a new version of the uh, analysis for office add-on well with this plugin every time a new version is available it will be pushed to your installation and just like the apps on your uh, iPhone for example they also will be automatically updated also the fact that I'm running this on my Mac that's also a big news um, because the, the, the analysis office version only supports Windows um, now it's platform independent, so this runs on Windows, Mac, and later on I'll also show you that this can run in a browser. So we have this tab here, SAP and its cloud. I can log in. Well, it asks me to fill in the, the link, the URL for the tenant. Let's connect. And from here, I can select a model on my SEC tenant. So currently, this beta only supports import models. On the roadmap, they have also the other connections, but for now, it's only uh, acquired data, unfortunately. I can select my model in here. Well, on the right, we see a panel that looks a bit like analysis for office. On the left, we see the output in the, in the spreadsheet. And here I can select my rows, columns, and I can add filters. So let's say I add the row uh, country and customer like this. And in the columns, well, let's add a complaint category in here. Let's see what happens. And I can also add filters in here. So let's filter on, um, let's say, complaint category. All right. And I want to switch around customer and country. Let's see if that works. Yep. So as you can see here, we also have a hierarchy activated on country. So with this menu, you could change the hierarchy. Um, by the way, that's the only setting that I've seen here. So there's no option to, for example, add totals or show or hide descriptions and key values. Um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty limited what we can do here. Yeah, and, and that's basically what we currently have in this version so here on top i can yeah show a height builder i i could add multiple of these models here in uh, the spreadsheet and i can also refresh everything um well yeah that that's very very limited uh functionality i i, I cannot also ca i cannot adjust um, the number of decimals or the scaling for example um, things like currency conversions, yeah, I don't see that in it. 
So what's very interesting is when we go to the browser and go to the online office environment, where you can also run uh, Excel online, that I also have my plugin there for SAP and its cloud. So I can do exactly the same things as in the um, yeah the local, the on-premise installation of Excel. So also here I can go to my model. Add my dimension in, in here. Country. Add some columns. I don't know, date. Like this. And browse through the data set. So that works in exactly the same way. Well, let's have a quick look at the roadmap. So let's say we are now here at the end of Q4, beginning of 2020. Then I see that for the first half of this year, the focus will mostly be on planning. And some features that I actually would like to see in the tool, for example, the integration of this within the um, SAP NLS Cloud repository so that it has an option to store uh, workbooks on the SAC platform and also open them from there again. And of course, support for further data connections because with the import connection, well, that's not really enough to make this a very useful add-on, at least for reporting purposes. All right, so that's the first look at the beta version of uh, SAC add-on for Microsoft Office. Right, see you later, guys. Bye.